Hi there, Jeffrey Roach from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and JerryAnnRichardson.com. Please subscribe, hit that join button, join our membership, uh, give us some comments. Uh, we, uh, we do read them, we do try to respond, we do appreciate comments. Uh, oh. I actually had another decent day at work. Um... It was only about 5.30 uh, when I got out of there today. Um, so not as early as yesterday, but, you know, I had more shelves. Tomorrow uh, is looking promising um, for about a 5 o'clock out time. Um, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, more stuff happening out and about. Uh, let's see, the uh, there was a CEO or, or not, not CEO, an executive for Pfizer um, being uh, questioned in a European court uh, and under oath uh, responded to the question of uh, well, what was the question? I don't remember exactly what the question, how it was worded. Oh, it's um, going to get marked as misinformation. You know. Oh, I know this is going to get marked. I know. But, you know, the... Uh, the, the executive, science isn't there. Yeah, the executive basically, uh, under oath, testified that Pfizer uh, never tested for the vaccine to prevent the spread of COVID. Um, you know, it was being touted by everyone, Pfizer, CDC, Fauci, Biden, everybody was saying, Oh, get the vaccine. It stops the transmission of COVID. Um, I said, oh, crap, from the beginning. Yeah, but this executive said under oath that they never tested for it. They knew that it didn't, or they actually, they didn't really know one way or the other um, because they didn't test for it. They... They could not honestly say that it could, that it would. Um, and think of all the so-called friends we lost. Yeah. Because we weren't doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, we refused to get the vaccine. And so uh, we had friends who uh, turned on us and uh, refused to associate with us. Um, and some family that, that was the same. Yeah. And uh, now, it's, now it's turning out that, uh, you know, we weren't wrong. Um, the vaccine did not do what was promised. Um, and there are some long-term side effects that are showing up. Because for some people. For some, yeah. It, yeah. It's not everybody that has side effects, but there are some side effects. There are issues with it, um, in part because it was rushed through and not tested um, properly. It was not tested long term, you know, so we don't know what the long term effects of the vaccine are going to be. Um, you know, there are some things that are already starting to show, but, you know, there could be much worse things down the road. We don't know. Um, no, no, people talk about the long-term effects of having COVID. Well, yeah, I'm not saying there aren't any because some people are having problems, mm -hmm. but not Everybody is having 
long-term, long-term problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, you know, the way that COVID, you know, behaved with people. People had different reactions, you know. Some people got COVID and had minor, mild symptoms. Others, hospitalization, death. You know, it ran the gamut, but, you know, it wasn't a... It, there, there was no way of, of saying, if you get it, you're going to die for everybody. It, it didn't work that way. Um... It, it, it was just a random, you know, some people reacted badly to it. Some people didn't. Well, and some, we people, don't know, some people never got it. We don't know how much of that had to do with previous health issues. Right. That was, that was one of the, the other things. And, you know, that was the most likely cause of a lot of... The deaths was a prior condition that the COVID made worse. Well, like you I know. said, my mother did not die of pneumonia, even though she had pneumonia. She died of congestive heart failure. Right. But not getting treated for the pneumonia... Contributed to the congestive heart failure, yes. No, no, she already had the congestive heart failure. I'm it, sure it, it contributed to her death yes. because her heart wasn't strong enough to fight it. Right, that's that's what I'm saying. It, con yeah. it contributed to the congestive heart failure being the cause of death. But if she hadn't had congestive heart failure to start with, she would have probably came through the pneumonia just fine. Right, right. So, but, yeah, the... The executive basically said, yeah, they, they didn't know. They, you know, they never tested for, you know, stopping the transmission of. Um, you know, and the big thing, just like I asked today, um, because I would like to go to the conference next year. It's a year away. And I would like to make some plans to know if I can or cannot go. Right. And the decision hasn't even been made if they're going to require a vaccine to be able to go to this. Right. And it's absolutely ridiculous that, you know, this far into it, places are still saying, well, you have to be vaccinated to come here. When clearly, even with the vaccine, you can still get it. And, and you, you can, can still, still transmit, transmit it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the vaccine does not no. stop or prevent or anything. It, it, all the vaccine really has shown that it does is, is lessen the effects for most people of COVID. Yeah, and I feel like this, if somebody wants to go get it, that's their choice. Yeah. But talking don't, about the vaccine, yeah, not COVID. But don't tell me <laughs> what I need to do because you don't want me telling you what you need to do. Right. So, you know, respect the fact that I'm not gonna do it. Right. Right. And if you don't want to be around me, that's your choice, but you know. Yeah. It's also my choice to say I don't want this experimental thing. In my system, right. So, and yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this one's going to get flagged. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, but that's okay. We've all has but, been getting flagged anyway, so yeah. you know. Yeah, we're so much we're for just going to First Amendment rights. Yeah, we're we're just going to put it out there anyways, and and you know deal with it. Um, you know, we. Uh, we want to be out there. We want to be honest about the stuff. You know? And we have a right to our opinion. It's called yes. the First Amendment. Yes. And all of these big companies that want to squash our First Amendment. Yeah. Needs to go move to another country where it's okay to do that. Yeah. Because we live in America. <laughs> you don't like the rules? Move someplace else. 
or do something to actually change the rules. Oh, well, we don't want our First Amendment taken away. No. no. Or our Second Amendment. Uh, yeah. Or any of the other of the amendments, especially the first 10, the Bill of Rights. Yes. So, but anyways, I think that's going to do it tonight. Because um, I'm really going to go on and on and get us banned, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> yes. Bring it on. Um, anyways, uh, once again, please subscribe. Uh, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. We will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.